Hi folks, Rich from the Warriors Path Academy. Today I'm going to talk to you about shuriken, so specifically bo shuriken, bo shuriken. So this is not the classical throwing style that you may associate with the word shuriken. This is actually what we call a stick shuriken. Now I've been playing with these for a great many years, into the decades now. However, it's one of those skill sets that's very, very mindful and produces a state of calm. Just like you would do target archery or target shooting with a rifle, because of the level of concentration you've got to put into making sure your shuriken leaves your hand and your body travels through the air and strikes the target at a good angle with good penetration, there's a lot of zen involved with it. And that's the way I'm choosing to sort of look at it today. Okay. However, obviously, it has got a very, very combative application too, and we'll cover that in some videos later down the track. So for right now, the type of shuriken I use are ones that, because you simply can't buy them, are ones that I make myself. Now these are based off what's called a shirai shuriken. So it's a steel rod. These are about 18 centimeters long. I do that because I've actually got fairly small hands. The traditional shirai shuriken is actually around about 20 centimeters long. I prefer to just to tie it to my own use for my own purposes because I'm not doing this for anyone else's sake. And that's the way you should approach shuriken training. It is a, a mindful practice, a practice that you can just use for yourself, for inner reflection, inner processes and growth. It doesn't need to be used violently. So I'm going to share with you four different methods that I train every day with to throw the shuriken to the target. So the first one we're going to look at is a simple overhand throw. Now this method is called direct hitting. So when I when this leaves my hand this shuriken stays this way through the air on the way to target and arrives like so. So I do that by actually brushing the shuriken as it leaves my hand. So I don't spin it the way you'd see a knife throw traditionally being done. I tend to push it and I leave it back here behind my head. So I'm leaving it there to actually increase the angle backwards of the of the striking point as long as possible so it has time to make that gentle single arc through the air. The ranges I train at the most are around about three up to about five meters. Once you get beyond five meters you need to reverse it or increase the weight of the shuriken and increase your ability to hit things at a longer range. Longer range isn't equitable to greater skill. The skill in the shuriken is to be able to throw this with nearly 100% accuracy from a range of different positions. Kneeling, lying, backwards, standing, uh, overhand, underhand, sideways. As we'll go through a, a few in a moment, you'll see there's a range of different ways we can throw the shuriken. So let's look at the first one, a simple overhand strike. That's an overhand strike. Now for those of you who know anything about ball shuriken, you'll notice that I hold the shuriken point forward. Not in the traditional manner, this way. These are the, the spare shuriken I'm throwing. I'm throwing nine here. I don't pull them across and turn them over. I find this easier here to feed them across magazine style, like a modern rifle magazine. And also that allows me, if I have an opponent combatively, encroaching on me quickly, well he's running into these, not the back end. So I've modified tradition for my own purposes. If you want to be very traditional, we carry on the right, tucked into the obi or your belt, pull them out and you continue to transfer them to your left hand and hold them in your left hand. And as I throw, in that situation, I come down, I pick up another one. Boom. 
throw, pick up another one. Let's look at the second technique for throwing. And this is a sideways throw. And because it doesn't break the line of sight here, it's actually probably one of the most tactically viable. So again, my shuriken are in my left hand, my spares, the one I'm throwing in my right hand, because I'm a right-handed thrower. So from here, unlike over here, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm throwing this way, this way. Let's look at the third way, which is going to be a underhand method. So coming from backwards behind my thigh into the target from underneath. Very, very good because it's not, again, breaking line of sight. And there's a very small amount of movement involved. You can't see the target in that particular case, but you might have heard the noise all nine shuriken are going into a space about this big and quite low. The fourth technique I want to show you today and share with you is simply what we call an ushiro technique, a from behind technique. And it's a bit different again. I'm throwing literally over my shoulder. I can vary it by coming directly over my shoulder or sideways. We'll incorporate that into what we're sharing with you today. Now in this case, my thumb takes the place of the four fingers here in the brushing process. My thumb hangs on for a bit longer to allow the shuriken to be balanced at the point of release and to get the right angle of release so it makes that single direct hit. Let's see how we go. We don't have to lock ourselves into pure kata or form in the delivery of the practice. It's a practice. The more structured you make it, or the least, less structured you make it, is really irrelevant. It's a personal practice. We do this not to impress anyone. We do this for the full intention of what we're trying to achieve, which is inner peace. Now I can clearly use these effectively in combat, and as we said, we'll follow up with some information in that space. However, you, it's, a, it's like throwing darts or doing archery, any other form of target practice where we're bringing all the outside the distractions to a, to a close, to a nice focus point where we're delivering a weapon to a target. So that's the four techniques that I use every day whenever I practice, and I practice nearly every day. I hope that's of interest to you. If you're interested in that type of thing, follow us. Don't forget to subscribe. And there'll be more information about it as we go along. Other than that, stay strong out there and we'll see you next time.